Beirut, a highly efficient thriller, takes place in that city over two time frames, in 1972 and 1982. It reminded me of the sort of espionage thrillers that used to be made in the 60s and 70s, films that were invariably set in the divided city of Berlin. No one took those films very seriously as an accurate expose of Western versus Soviet dealings during the Cold War, and it's hard to take Beirut's screenplay by the talented Tony Gilroy, author of the Bourne movies, very seriously either. But it's certainly entertaining, though in a sometimes overly convoluted kind of way. John Hamm is in excellent form as the accomplished diplomat, who fortunately speaks fluent Arabic, who finds himself in the middle of this very dangerous maelstrom. Director Brad Anderson brings a high level of immediacy and suspense to the drama, and though it's sometimes a challenge to work out the motivations of some of the characters, Beirut is, for the major part, a tasty thriller. It's good, too, that a romance between Mason and Sandy, Rosamund Pike, the woman assigned to be his guide and guardian, is kept at bay. Like most films with Middle East settings, this one was filmed in Morocco, and its depiction of a divided and largely ruined Beirut makes an evocative backdrop to the intrigue. I'm giving the film three and a half stars. Mm-hmm.